Well, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Keith Armour. I'm the Education and Homework Support Manager down here in the Adult Learning Center at the Main Library. Today, we are going to go back to school. So many of you are getting ready to go back to school, and a lot of educators have already been back in the classroom, setting up everything, getting ready for the new school year. And we here at the library just want to make sure that they know about all of the great resources that we have for teachers. Um, so we're going to go right into Lunch and Learn talking about um, helping educators with all of the great resources here at the library. So let's go ahead and dive in. Well, all right, we've arrived at our great website, CincinnatiLibrary.org. We're going to come over here in the blue section, the third one down, Educator Resources. Now, um, one thing that is always exciting about August, at least when it was when I was a teacher, uh, you would see a whole bunch of teachers going into their classroom, setting it up, getting it ready, and there's a lot that goes into getting your classroom ready. And one thing that uh, here at the library, what we want to help you with is making sure that you have as many uh, resources as possible. And that's why the next, this one and also the next two Lunch and Learns are all gonna be about the resources that educators can use during the school year. Now, uh, you wanna apply for an educator card, and that means if you're a teacher, a tutor, or a homeschooler, you can apply for an educator card. You can click right here, but the much better section, I'm gonna click right here to educator card under category. <clears throat> now, this is gonna tell you right away what kind of privilege you have with an educator library card. You can still have your own personal library card. We highly encourage that. However, we would like you to get an educator card because look right here. You can have up to 200 items checked out on the card. The only exception is you cannot check out 200 DVDs, all right? And you can request a teacher collection, and I'm gonna talk about teacher collections in just a moment. And uh, you can have monthly collections delivered to your class. Um, there are some are delivered right to your school, but there is some criteria for that. And I'll tell you about that in the teacher collection section. And then you wanna apply, uh, you can even um, give, get access to classroom sets of downloadable materials. So who's an educator? This talks about all the people. If you're an instructor of any grade level, uh, in early childhood, a substitute, a student teacher, uh, school or institutional librarians, homeschool instructors, certified B type B in-home child care providers, and other verifiable uh, educational employees as determined by library staff, and even adult daycare workers as well. So keep that in mind. And then to ob obtain a new uh, educator card, you must live in Ohio or work in an educational setting in Ohio. You have to verify with the current photo ID and you also should have some type, makes it really easy if you have some type of identification for um, the fact that you're an educator. So either you have your employee identification badge, uh, your pay stub. Um, if you're a homeschooler, you could have the homeschool certificate letter that you got from the superintendent of the school district that you reside in. And then of course you need to verify, uh, we just need to verify your home address. So there's all sorts of things, your driver's license, a state ID, um, a lot of different things that you can do. And then you wanna apply for the uh, educator card. You click right here. And then you go through the process of applying for a library card. I'm gonna click right here. And it's really not applying, you're just getting a library card. You wanna scroll all the way down. Remember, you probably already have a regular library card and we're gonna scroll right down here where it says educator. You click here and then you get started and then you just fill out the form and then you get your educator card. Now, you can get more details about the educator card here and another window pops up and it tells you the same information that I just shared with you just a few minutes ago. So it's right there, okay? Click out of there. 
and then says more details about the educator downloadable feature. And this is what's really cool. Um, the library ha now has an easy way for your students to download books onto their mobile devices for class use. And this might be more for the middle school, high school students that you're working with. Customers with educator cards uh, issued card numbers to distribute to the students. And then there's a whole FAQ on the new downloadable feature for educators. And it's really a cool feature and uh, you do need to have an educator card first to be able to use this downloadable uh, feature um, for educators, all right? So that's the first thing I wanna point out to you. You wanna definitely get an educator card. You can read a lot of information. Remember, I went to the homepage here, went right here in the blue section to educator resources and then educator card information is right there. Now let's go over here to teacher collections. Now teacher collections, there's a great little video here uh, by a wonderful librarian named Lori and she will explain in great detail how um, you apply to get teacher collections. But you have to first start with an educator card. Now there's school delivery requests and then there's a collection pickup requests. Now for school delivery requests, we click right here and you wanna first find out if your school already is part of, um, part of the teacher collection service. And that really helps out. Um, so for instance, if you were at Bond Hill Academy, well, they already deliver we, the library, already delivers collections there. So it makes it very, very easy. Now, if you do not see your school listed, and it's A through Z here, um, then you need to try to get some other teachers in your area to, um, in your school, to be able to have delivery. Um, to have delivery, pick up and delivery at your school, you have to have at least five teachers request deliveries. So if you have, uh, if you really like this idea that you can have books delivered directly to your classroom, to your school, uh, you need to get uh, four other people, uh, four other teachers um, involved and then that service could start. So what's wonderful about this is if you can't find five teachers, maybe some other teachers are already have an established uh, in-classroom library and they just don't want to be messed with, um, you can do collection pickup requests. And if you click right here, you'll notice that you'll put in your library card and you're going to uh, put in your educator card and you're going to then um, request up, uh, up uh, materials and that could be collections um, include up to 50 books a total of 200 items are allowed to be checked out at any time per educator okay so there's two choices here you can find out if your school is on the delivery list already if they're not then you want to find at least five teachers in your building that will um, First of all, have an educator card, and then you could possibly get a, um, a delivery directly to your school, which makes it so much easier for everyone uh, when, uh, when you've got so many things going on as a, as a teacher, as an educator, um, having a delivery right to your school uh, just cuts down one, one errand that you don't have to worry about. And then, of course, you can do branch and downtown main library teacher collection pickup. Uh, the forms are right here. And here's the school delivery request. So if you do get five teachers, you want to fill out this request here. But they want you to check to see if your school's on here first. And there's a lot of schools on this list already. They do such, the outreach department does such an excellent job um, putting all of these teacher collections together. All right, so that is teacher collections. So let's go back one more. So you definitely wanna start out by getting an educator card. And remember if you're a teacher, tutor, or homeschooler, 
you can get an educator card, which would give you up to 200 items. Uh, teacher collections, you can either have teacher collections where they are delivered to your school, and that would be either on the list already, or you could request if you have five teachers in your building that already have educator cards, then you can make a request for your building to be put on the uh, pickup and delivery. And then of course, uh, you can then have your own delivery where you're talking to the branch that you're closest to and see if they would put a collection together or um, you can get a collection at any of our branches, all right? Now, student cards are the next thing. And this is a new feature. We've only had this about a year and it goes along with OverDrive. And OverDrive is our big online um, downloadable um, collection. So you've got um, downloadable audiobooks and also um, e-readers. And there's a, such a huge collection. And right here, 45,000 plus titles are in this collection, okay? And what's also great about this, a library card is not required because this is a new thing. Um, it says to partner with the library to provide, library, uh, provide cards to all students in your district, or if your school district is not already to provide free cards to students at the time. The library can provide free cards for individual classrooms. But we really wanna to try to get um, school districts involved in this um, because it makes it a lot easier for you all to navigate uh, getting those downloadable materials to your student devices. So you can request individual classrooms, but see if your school district would get into the system because it makes it so much easier for you and for, um, for our collection as we make sure that we get it out there to the students in your class. So um, you can also contact the um, wonderful manager of outreach, which is Drew Pearson. And um, you definitely want to check out this feature, but you have to have an educator card first, okay? Now, eventually, um, right now, we are not having classroom and library visits, but remember that uh, we will in the future, and we definitely have in the past, um, and, and it's a great time to have staff visit our visit. Um, we have librarians that go out already and they will continue to go out um, in, the, in the upcoming school year. But you can also have field trips to the library. But you want to check the, your nearest branch first to see if they are allowing field trips. And um, um, definitely that is always a fun thing to do, especially if you come downtown to the main library. The makerspace is a really very popular place to come and see. All right, so that is the educator website, the educator page that we have on our page. You wanna start out with getting an educator card and then possibly either a private collection, uh, collections just for your classroom, or you could start getting a delivery of a teacher collections right directly to your school. Now, next week we're gonna talk about some resources and I'm going to divide them up into two sections. We're going to divide them up for elementary teachers and then for middle and high school teachers because there's some things in uh, the resources that are electronic here that would work really really well in your classroom. So let's go ahead and look at some events that are happening. So click right here. And um, we are still doing a lot of take and make. Um, these are wonderful over at Miami Township. They're doing book folding, roll to create. Clifton is outdoor book club, and that's Friday morning book club. And that is for all ages. And then a um, literary latte is over at Green Township on Friday, tomorrow. And then there's a library play date over at Westwood. And that's from 10.30 to 11.15. Uh, they're going to continue to do those activities at Miami Township. 
at Pleasant Ridge. A lot of um, people are very excited about our ongoing programs called Movers and Shakers. Let me just click here. And it's for um, ages one through four. And they sing, they dance, they enjoy some music, they enjoy uh, a story time with the children's librarian. And that children's librarian is Ashley over at Pleasant Ridge. And that's from 11 to 11.30 because we want to keep that short. Um, and actually, that's a pretty long time for a one-year-old or a four-year-old. Uh, create uh, modeling clay over at Miami Township in Grossbeck. They do have a wait list for the mini masterpieces. And as you can see, we keep going on. There is a meet of uh, the author. It's a local author, and that's Norman Riggs. And he will be at Pleasant Ridge uh, Saturday uh, from 2 to 3. And that is for adults and teens. And he'll talk about how he does his writing, uh, the writing process, and all of his influences as well. So a lot of activities. Uh, um, the weather is getting better this weekend, so this is a great time to come out. Um, I do want to point out, though, right here uh, is that um, I made, we made the announcement a couple of weeks ago that Doris Kearns Goodwin was going to be our Stern Lecture uh, Series speaker on October the 5th, and now the tickets are on sale. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the sale, the tickets are only $5. You click right there, and it takes a moment. And then they tell, oh gosh, um, you want to get your tickets pretty quick because they're going fast. This is the Aronoff. This is the huge, um, uh, the huge theater. And you can see that so many tickets are already taken because you cannot see any uh, seats available here. So you want to get in there uh, to see this world-renowned uh, historian, presidential historian, you need to get your tickets quick, and it's only $5. All right, I'm going to click out and tell you a few more things, and we'll call it a wonderful Thursday. Right. As you can see, we do have a lot of resources for educators. We have those educator cards, teacher collections, and even those special student cards that you can actually utilize to download um, different e ebooks and e-materials that are right there for everyone in your classroom. Um, don't forget about the wonderful activities that are still happening at the library. I know the summer is slowly winding down towards Labor Day, but we still have a lot of take and makes over in Westwood tomorrow on Friday at 1030. They are doing a library play date, which sounds a lot of fun. We have on Saturday meet a local author on Norman Riggs over at Pleasant Ridge. So definitely check that out. And also, this earlier this week, we had um, the tickets for Doris Kearns Goodwin Lecture. That's going to be on October the 5th. That, those tickets were released, so you could go ahead and spend a big $5 to see that wonderful pres presidential historian uh, give a great lecture for the Stern Lecture Series on October the 5th. So you want to definitely get those tickets before they run out. Next week for Lunch and Learn, we're going to concentrate on um, even more resources, but uh, resources for the elementary teacher. Uh, and then after that, we're going to work with uh, the middle school and high school teachers. But next week's Lunch and Learn is all about uh, different resources that are for the elementary teacher. All right. I'll see you next week for Lunch and Learn. Have a good weekend. Thanks.